Hello everyone, it's Mish here, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, uh, thanks for stopping by. And if you have been stopping by, I really appreciate it, and thanks for being here. So I'm going to start a new little series, I guess. I haven't got it all planned out or mapped out, but I am going to go over just some basic junk journal um, techniques, I guess, or just craft along with me. A lot of it is really basic for most of you who have been doing the junk journals, but I just thought I would just start and, and do some journals. So I'm, I am actually going to do three different journals today. The first one that I'm going to do, I just took a pancake box and I cut it down to, it's about six and three quarters this way, uh, this way, and by about five and a half this way. So I've already got some paper that I want. It is directional, so it doesn't really matter, except that I want this side on the back panel because there's a little bit of a crease there. I've already gone ahead and I had two pieces of the same paper, so I have uh, took some of my score tape and just taped it on the, the, so that it will be in the center of my spine. And the reason I did it for this one that way is because I am going to cover, uh, I'll have something on the spine, um, some lace or dangles or, or, or uh, something. So you, you won't really see where that crease is. And I didn't pattern match, but it's really not going to matter because I'm going to put something over that spine there. So I'm just going to start by uh, getting off the spine itself. And this is just score tape. I find this is excellent for doing our journals and stuff. And I'm trying to line that up. I've already made the marks where the center line is there, uh, as well as on my book there. Okay, so I'm just going to press that down really well, just so it doesn't bubble. Okay, and then... This is, if you saw my Daphne's Diary, this is almost exactly the same as far as putting the cover on is the Daphne's Diary. And speaking of Daphne's Diary, I am going to be starting a new book. The, the one we've been working in is just, is just too fat, so I'm going to uh, make, make a new one. But it would be almost the same as what we're doing here, except for this one here, instead of sewing in the pages... I'm just going to create um, a loop with my baker's twine here, and I'll go over that in, in a minute. Um, so therefore, it's you know you don't have to sew anything, even though it's not that difficult to sew a pamphlet stitch, which is a three-hole um, stitch that's quite quite easy. Okay, and then I'm just going to get the other side done. I'm coming to you tonight from a very steamy Halifax. The humidity today, well, I know I'm, I have nothing to complain about compared to you guys down south. I know, but I'm just, we're just really not used to that kind of heat. So I don't know actually what the temperature was, but it was one point today that I could have put the air conditioner on, but I don't really like to unless I really need to. So, but then we had a little bit of rain. We we're supposed to get some thunder, some thunderstorms, but it didn't really amount uh, to much. So now I'm going to cut the corners, and I want to leave about an eighth of an inch. So I don't want to actually cut right straight to the corner. I just want to leave a little bit there, which I don't think I left enough there. But you could always cover your cor corner with something if, if it pokes out a little bit. So then I usually do the long sides first. So I'm just going to take that off and I'm going to just take it and work it a bit before I try to, to uh, tape it down. And then I'm just going to work from the middle and I'm going to work out just gently pressing along that edge there. That way I'm not going to get any kind of puckers or little bubbles. 
Okay, so then I'm just going to do the other long side. Now my, my, how much I have is about, here I have about three quarters of an inch, I think. I'll just measure it. Yeah, that's about three, three quarters of an inch on the, the short sides. And the long side is about an inch. Um, but you could do an, an inch all around, whatever you, whatever you want. So when I was thinking about the, the journals, I thought, well, what kind of theme or what am I going to use it for? And sometimes I just like to do a journal to give it away or, um, I don't know, a set, to sell it, etc. But this one here, I want to do it sort of in the Victorian style. And I just need to find my bone, little bone folder. So I'm just going to push down the edge there. there and then I'm just gonna fold just work it a bit and then I'm gonna fold it in so yeah so I thought the style for this one would be Victorian kind of look with uh, florals those kind of deep colored florals and I'm going on vacation again uh, later this month to P Prince Edward Island and I thought I would use this just as a bit of a travel journal so I thought about making a traveler's notebook I made a few of those here this winter for the kids who are going to the Dominican for the first time um, and I thought about that style but I I wanted this so what I'm gently gonna do is just work those creases so that they don't bubble up when I go to try and bend the book. So I'm just going to gently just bend my book. There we go. Okay. Awesome. And I'm not too worried if there's a little bubble there. Actually, that's the back. Because uh, I am going to do a, a decorative uh, cover. So that's my little notebook that I'm going to take, my little junk journal I'm going to take on holiday. So what I did for the spine is I just took some twine that I got at the dollar store. There was three different colors of twine. It's got a little sparkle uh, to it. So I just took a piece of this is 110 cardstock uh, from Michaels so it is a heavier cardstock if uh, if you use pen and gear 110 I don't think it's as um, thick as this so I just wanted a kind of a thicker card and then I measured it to fit just about an eighth of an inch short on the top and the bottom so it's not exactly flush and then I measured, because I'm going to have three signatures, so I measured the center, and then I measured equal distance from the center for the other two signatures. And then, if you can see, I just cut a wee little V there. And then I've wrapped the twine around. For the middle one, I've um, made the knot in the set, in the the on this side, in the center. But for the other two, I made them on the back. And then I took some packing tape, just some stuff I got at the dollar store, and I've put the packing tape down just to secure it um, on the on the back side. And then I'm just going to get this down with a little bit of score tape. And I do like the score tape because it just really adheres well. So we're gonna get this down. And then now we could have sewn these in, but I wanted this to be like an easy, you know, something you could do without having to poke your holes. And I know it's not a lot of work to do that, but if you don't have a pokey tool or, you know, you're not, you just don't want to do it, then this is just an alternative way of putting in your uh, your pages, your, your, your signatures. So for those of you who are brand new a signature is just a number of pages fold it in half 
to create a little bundle of paid of papers and that's that's essentially a signature so I was cleaning up my room today and oh gosh that was just like it was horrendous to be honest and it was a, a mess because I'd been doing uh, junk journal July so I had stuff out for all the prompts and stuff trying to figure out what I was doing and then I had my Daphne's diary stuff out and my Marguerite Miller stuff and then just stuff that I've been working on um, actually I've been working on t too much since the end of July but so when I was doing that I came across back on the back of one of my shelves some pre-made cards that I got at Michael's you can get these packs that have the card that's already folded and the envelopes to go with it so I thought oh well that would be ideal for my little journal so I pulled out a number of those cards right so just hang on a second because I want to get that exactly excuse my head if it gets in the way I just want to pull that back okay so it's just a fraction all right hopefully that's where it needs to go because it's down Whew. thankfully okay so um i forget what i was saying oh yeah the cards so i pulled out a number of the cards and i thought that they would be great for the for the signatures and i'm only going to do two card two cards for each signature because i know it's going to grow as i put stuff in it so so let's just work this crease a little bit so that it bends in okay and the same on this side and I like using things like pancake boxes and cracker boxes and cereal boxes because it's a good way to recycle the things that you have. Okay, and then I will decorate the inside and the outside. Or the, yeah, the inside. I'll put papers on and stuff. But for now, I just wanted to get the books together. And then over the coming weeks, I thought we would work in the journals. Now this one, I'm going to, you know, be more working it more probably because I'm going to be putting stuff in from the accommodations we're staying at and all that stuff. Okay. So that's a cute little book. So then my signatures are these cards here. So they're already made and I just took a cream one and a brown one and I'm just going to slide it through there. It should fit. Might have to take a little bit off. No, nope, it slides right in. And then we have our signatures in. And this one here, I triple knotted it. But I'm going to make it neater because it's flying all over the place. It's fraying a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then with this, I can put little dangles on it or something if I want. So there's our signatures. Okay, they're in and they're ready for us to start to decorate, which we won't do today because the video will be too, too long. So that's the first kind of little junk journal that you, you can do. All right, and then we're going to add pockets and color, like we'll just, we'll tart it up quite, quite a bit. So that's the first one. So then the second one I thought we would do is people... Um, have been asking me and I can't I can't remember which video it was in that I showed how to do the accordion for the the um, July junk journal daily this is the one that I had I had done in a video just to show how how to start it so I thought I would just do another one just so that we can see how that's done so for me I, mine was about five, I think it was five. Yeah, so mine was five inches long. So I just kind of started it 
with a score line, but you don't have to, you can just fold it. I just wanted to, so that's how I started mine, okay? And then that left this flat because my paper is 11, um, eight, eight and a half by 11, but I cut it down to seven and a half and I cut it down to seven and a half and it'll be sliding off the groove there. And this is the flap that I'll start my next, my next page. So you can, you can put another page, you can put some more brown paper there or, but what I had done is I had collected just a bunch of scraps. So you can see with this one here, it's just a bunch of scraps that I started to make my pages. So I've got a bit of a glue stick here. I don't get along very well with glue sticks, but we shall endeavor. I just need to get some scrap paper. Okay, so actually, I might just use a piece of that. So with this here, I'm just going to tear a piece off, like so. Didn't want to tear very well. And then I will just glue that down. So we'll just get some glue and any bits that don't glue all the way down, you can just go along later with um, just your normal kind of glue and get those little spots that you didn't get before. Okay. So we got that down and then maybe that'll go. Okay. I'm just going to do this on my glass mat. I just find glue sticks are just so messy. So I'm going to put that down there, but I'm also needing to put a little bit along there. Okay. And then we've got some ledger paper here. I think I'll put a little piece up here. Just stick that down and you just keep going. You just get your, however you want to do it and then just keep motoring on. And you can put things over top of things like that. If you don't like how it's going down, you could just do stuff like that and then get all your scraps together. There's a nice piece. I've been meaning to get out and get some coffee and tea stain stuff done, but I keep forgetting. Oops, I didn't need all that glue. I've been watching the Olympics today. Canada won a, a, a few medals. So, Summer, she's doing excellent in the swimming the swimming stuff okay and then anything that's going to hang over you can cut it off and when you get to your five then you just fold your paper and you just keep on going so let's turn this back over so I need a little bit of glue there I, I don't like when it rains so much that people get hurt and things flood and stuff, but I do like a good thunder and a lightning storm, which sadly we didn't get. So then this page here, I think I'll just stick it on there. And this is really a junk journal. You just go, you go in your recycling. Notice when you feel real. Well, I had to take something back from Amazon that I got. I actually ordered some little paper sandwich bags 
and they sent me two instead of just one box and you know they're I thought I don't need I only need one but there's 200 in a box gosh that'll last me forever because I just want it kind of for crafty things so I went to I didn't realize and I think it must be something new that you can take your stuff to Staples for uh, returns for Amazon so so I did I ran over to Staples and I took this stuff over there and I had no intention of buying anything because at Staples they really in with stuff because for me gosh getting me in a stationary place it sells paper and pens and all sorts it's like I don't know it's like crack I guess I'm so addicted to not to crack god no but to crafts so anyways they gave me this five dollar because they really in they gave me this five dollar coupon for if I spend twenty dollars well like I said I really hadn't intended to spend any money so I ended up buying what should I buy? I bought some Staedtler pigment pens, kind of like, they say they're like the my pit pens, which is why I thought I'd try them out. So I haven't tried them, but, and I got a little roll of washi tape, and I got some YooHoo glue, because my glue, this stuff... I think this is kids glue but I couldn't see much at Michael's so I don't know if they have other stuff but they didn't have the the yoohoo so I, I ended up getting a pack of five I think so that'll last me a while okay so you, I'm sure you get the picture that you just can keep on going and just add in your scraps and then when you get to your desired uh, width you then turn and fold so I'm not quite there yet but and then that gives you this accordion style and then when you go to work in it and if you if you have watched my July uh, junk journal July I did put the affirmation on there and I put the lock on and you know what I really love it um, but you can just keep on going because that's just your base pages once you get doing your your uh, journal then you're going to add background papers and, and stuff to it so that um, you know stain it and add other uh, pack this is from um, my paper packs uh, little flip things and stuff so don't worry too much about how it's looking right now what you basically want to do is you want to get your form you just want to get you just want to get the book done so that you can start doing doing your pages. Um, so so this was an accordion. I did put a cover on it, um, which I absolutely love. So that's one way to do an accordion. So I'm just going to get that out of the way for right now. Because the other way to do an accordion, and, and that's the way that we're going to do it, is that I took a number of strips of paper, let me get that little book out of the way, and I've cut them six in inches and they're double sided. Okay, so again, I'm going to do uh, five inches. So I'm just going to take my scoreboard just to get the first one kind of sorted and I'm going to go at the five inch mark. And again, I'm going to go. Well, this is um, this is seven. I'm going to go at two inches, which will be five, right? Five to seven. Let's see. Okay, so then that's going to fold, and then I have this little flap. So what I'm going to do with the flap is I'm going to make a little pocket for my next my next piece piece of paper. Which side do I want? I guess I'll do this side. But before I glue that down, I'm going to make a little thumb notch in it. Because I want 
for this one, that's what I feel that I need. Oops. So I'm just going to find, this is six. So I'm just going to find the center, which is right about there. And then I'm just going to take this and just try to make it even on both sides. It's not an exact science. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score this at five. And I'm just going to keep going that this way for right now. So I'm going to do, I'm going to get my pocket on. So what I want to do is get my glue. And I'm just going to go along the bottom because you need to seal the bottom of your pocket. Somehow my glue has just dried up. I think, oh, there's a little bit there. Okay, so then I'm just going to go along the edge there. I, I do mini versions of this, um, which I have sent out in Happy Mail. In Christmas, I did a little, a little flip one. Okay. I thought Chester was here, but I heard a noise. Okay, so then, so then that's going to flip, that's going to flip back, that's going to flip this way. And make sure they're lining up so that it's square. And then with this one here, we can either make another pocket. Uh, no, we can't. We can make a pocket either here. So that's the same as that one. So that's going to go this side. And that's going to go that side. What else do we got? We've got those. So we could do that or that. I think we will do, let me open this up. I think we'll do the back side. Okay, so again, I want to score at five. Okay, but for this one here, for right now, yeah, I'll score it a two because that's going to be my fold. I think. Okay, so like I said, we could do that or we could do it on the back side. I think we'll do it on this side. And with this one here, I don't think I will put a notch because I think I'll put some glitter or something there. So for this one, again, I'm just going to go along the edge and these will be tuck pockets. Okay, and then we're going to line that up and we'll get that down. I just, oop, I hate when that does that. It's so humid here, it's just, okay, and then I could put a bit of washi tape there if I didn't like how it's, how the seam is. So let's close this and close this, and this is going to go back here, but we want it straight. Okay, perfect. Okay, and then we've got this and then this so if I wanted to do something different what could we do so I've used three stripped all already okay so now we're back to using the flip side on this side so we're gonna use that on the side we're gonna use those and we're gonna use this so no we're gonna use this So we've got that and that, and then we're going to use these three. Okay, so we cut out there. Um, I'm not really sure where we, what you saw last, but so we've got this far. We've got our little cording. We've got a little pocket there. 
and then they're five inches another little pocket there so then I accidentally put my thumb notch in the bottom because it went it got upside down but I'm not too worried because we'll just hide that with a pocket or something and I was just wondering which what I wanted what I want it to be seen either this so it looks like that or underneath so it looks like that and I'm kind of thinking kind of thinking like that except it covers up all that nice flowers because I really like the flower. I think I'll do I'll do this way so we're gonna put some glue along this edge to make a pocket we're gonna put it along there we're gonna put it along there and around that thumb notch and all the way over to there and then not there we're gonna put it along there okay and we're gonna put it along that edge okay so we're gonna make a U that way and a U that way or a C that way and then we're gonna put down this way I think yeah we're gonna put this down this way and with this one here it doesn't matter it's not directional. The butterflies are going every which way. But I do want to make sure it's square and I got it right to the crease. Okay. So I'm going to press out that pocket and that little pocket. This will be fun to decorate. And you can hardly see that there's a thumb notch there. And I've glued around it. So actually, I kind of like it. But the, the actual pocket is from the top. Okay. So then we only have one more one more page to go and I didn't score that I just bent it okay and then so we'll just bend this one just match it up to the the outer edge there okay and then this one and that's the right way up that is up right but we want that this way let's see there's that 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 and then that way so then that's going to go there and again I'm not going to bother to put a thumb notch in this one because we'll do something around the lip of the the pocket. We'll do something nice. It's always nice to have tuck spots for your memorabilia. So there we go. And that's all lined up. It's lined up along the sides. Oop, twist it there. So I'm having great fun watching the Olympics. I keep going out of frame. I apologize. My desk is a little bit further from. I think I'll do that way. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We have that. And it opens. 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 And we got that. And we could like glue it here and have like a thin tag pocket and then we could have something kind of coming out of the pocket that way that might be interesting on the back to have that well I think you know what why not let's let's do something different I'm just gonna get my one inch punch and just eyeball that and then we'll just close it up this way like so okay so there's our second well our second 
I guess our third. This is, but it's really the second type. So this is an accordion type, just like the one that we were just playing with, wherever I put it. So, okay. So then we'll get to decorating that, this in the coming weeks. And then the other thing I was going to look at is an altered book. So there's a couple of ways, there's lots of ways you can do an altered book. So I don't want to get into all the ways you could, you should, um, but the ways that I have done it, well, I only have a couple examples, is this one here, I took out uh, e evenly along the spine, I took out pa uh, pages, and then I glued the existing pages together just to make decorative pages. Now I haven't done anything with it, but that's that's what I've done so far. So then I can put... I, you know, use it for writing because I can put little pockets for journal cards and, I, and I'm not even really finished it. So that's kind of one way. So then the other way, I've had this book and I've been wanting to do something with it. So I thought today would be the day. So I got it at Value Village and I thought it would make a great little journal. I just like the size of it. So what I did already is I have gone through the signatures. So again, the signatures are the little packets of uh, paper that's that's been folded together to create a little packet. And then they're sewn in or glued in. So this book here had approximately one, two, three, four, five, maybe seven signatures I, I can see there. And... If you can find the middle of the signature, which you usually can because you can see the stitches there, then if you pull the pages off alongside it, you're not going to get something that looks like where I've, I've also used my X-Acto knife, but we can adjust for that. So this is another book that we will be working like here. You can kind of see where I cut that page. It doesn't really, oh here, there's a lot there. So for, for that there, what we can do is we can glue those pages together uh, or what, I'll, what I was thinking that I would do is just come here and cut on a diagonal. Um, so that would create like a pocket. So this is, this, so these are the three journals and then this is what we'll have kind of for scrap, for doing collages and master boards. And I am going to probably use, the, there's a few images that actually got cut out. So I love those little raccoons and I love those little flowers um, in that one there. So we'll use that as we go along um, as well. So we're going to work in this one. We're going to work in this one. And we're going to work in our little accordion fold one. So those are the three in the series that we'll start to, to work in. So I'm not sure how long the video is, but I imagine it's getting a bit long. So I think we'll stop there. And then when we meet again, we'll be doing things to decorate the pages, uh, make ephemera, uh, all kinds of little projects. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I know it was basic and I have to admit I'm a little bit tired. So, but... Um, but yeah, so until we meet again, I hope you stay safe and well and bye for now.